I know you've got to plow after you harvest your corn, but what if there was something a little bit quicker? How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today I want to show you another tool that you could use instead of a plow after you put root crops or corn in the ground. And that's going to be this subsoiler right here. Let me go ahead and show you. All you got to do is put it down, and you just do it like you normally would. Now, it's going to give you a little bit different texture on the ground, but whenever I go to my map here, you're going to see that it is getting rid of my plowed status. And, and let me show you why I think this is a great tool to get early on in your farming career. And that's because it's not that much more expensive than a regular plow. This thing only costs $29,500 and compared to your plow at $23,500. Now, I know that you already own a plow, but maybe you could trade that one in and get you one of these right here. Now, it does require 300 horsepower. So let's try something out, okay? I've got my John Deere sitting right over here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and hook up to it and see if how fast we can go with it you know what i mean is it going to be viable to actually do it so we're going to go ahead and drop this off right here and we're going to go ahead and hook up the john deere right here now let's go ahead and put this thing back down into its work status right there and i'm just going to go ahead and start going forward now i'm only going five six miles an hour and i'm a little bit of a downhill slope right now but but it's doing it I mean, if you've got the starting farm here and you don't have a high horsepower tractor, I mean, yeah, why not? Seven miles an hour. And that's the work speed of this thing. So it's not like you're not going as fast as you could because that's exactly how fast this is going to go. Grab yourself a subsoiler here and you're going to be able to do the fields a little bit quicker. The reason is because this thing is five meters wide compared to the 3.5 of the plow. Now, maybe going uphill is a little bit of a challenge. It's only three, four miles an hour here. But, but I mean, it, it's still doing it, right? It's still doing it. You're, you're wider and going downhill, you're definitely going to be going as fast. So it's only on the uphill sections. Maybe if you go back and forth, it's not going to be so bad. But I think this is a really, really good option for you when you're first starting out. I mean, spend a little bit of money. Be able to get that plowed status done just a little bit quicker, especially if you're running a bunch of corn. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. Short and sweet. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on my future testing and tips and tricks videos here on Farming Simulator 23, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.